everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name's Sophie and I would love it if you hit that big red subscribe button down below. Now for today's video I thought I would film a review on a language learning app which I have recently tried out. I've been using this app for about a month now, or has it been two months? I'm not too sure, I'm losing track of time and I definitely blame the lockdown for that. But yeah, anyway, I thought this video could be quite useful as I personally hadn't heard of the app until quite recently and there are so many language learning apps out there, some of them good and some of them bad and it's hard to know which ones you should download and which ones will be beneficial beneficial um, for you. So yeah, I thought this could be quite useful and um, maybe you have quite a lot of questions about this app or maybe you're thinking, what is Tandem? Maybe you didn't search for this app. This video was just recommended to you and you clicked on it and you have no idea what Tandem is. Do not worry, um, that is the first question that I will be answering. Um, but yeah, I'm going to break down this video into different sections. Um, I'll leave the different sections with the times on the screen here. So you can jump around a bit if you want. Um, so yeah, and watch the bits which you um, feel like will be most useful for you. So hopefully I don't waste any of your time. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Question number one. What is Tandem and what features does this app have? So Tandem is a language exchange app, similar to the app HelloTalk, which I actually downloaded last summer and never really ended up using. So essentially what the Tandem app allows you to do is create a profile with your first name, maybe a few pictures of yourself, um, what languages are your native languages, what other languages you can speak, what languages you are learning and your level in each of those languages and some of your interests. And then you can find other people to talk to, talk to who are native speakers of the languages which you are trying to learn and you can help each other out. It's kind of like a you scratch my back, I scratch yours kind of thing where um, you can write to that person in say French if you're learning French and they can write to you in English. And there's many different features um, that this app has in order to allow you to improve your languages by speaking to native speakers. The first one is being able to message people but you can do more than just message people. What you can do with this messaging feature is actually correct other people's messages. Yes, you can correct other people's messages. So if someone was to message me in English and I noticed that they made a mistake, I could correct their mistakes and they could do the same for me for German, Spanish and French. Yes, which is great really really helpful i really like this feature and um, what else you can do is also comment on other people's messages which is great because maybe they've asked you more than one different que um, question so you can comment on one particular question that they've asked you so that they know exactly what you're talking about and referring to which again is great very similar to um, other apps like facebook messenger so it's great to see that they've used that in tandem and another feature which they have, which is one that many other just normal messaging apps um, have, is to be able to send a picture. I think maybe you can send a video as well, I'm not too sure. Um, I personally haven't used this feature, I haven't needed to, um, but one of my Townden partners did send me some pictures um, from her hike and told me to describe what I could see in the picture, pictures in French, so you know, that's an option there. Um, and another feature which they have is to send audio messages which again is great because um, you can hear um, the language which is great so I could send someone an audio message in English and they'll be able to hear the British accent and well more, to be more precise um, a very typical Essex accent um, but yeah again very useful um, and another feature, which is probably one of the most useful features on there, um, is to be able to have video calls with people, which 
again is great because um you know i've had a few video calls with people on this app and i'll do like half the video call in english and half the video call in um whatever language i'm trying to learn so i had a video call with a guy from mexico and um, we spoke a bit in English and we spoke a bit in Spanish and again I had a video call with somebody from Germany and we spoke a bit of English and we spoke a bit of German and they corrected um, my person my I was about to say my personality no <laughs> they corrected my pronunciation on a few words which was very helpful for me and again I could correct them if um, they needed a correcting so it was very very helpful and yeah very useful and another feature which they have is to be able to leave a reference um, for somebody this is one which you can only do after you have had a video call with someone obviously being able to write someone a reference is very useful um, because um, if you have loads of good references then people are more likely to want to speak to you um, to practice their languages so yeah that's basically um, what tandem is and yeah, on to the next question. Question number two, is Tandem safe? Now, I'm going to answer this question by saying yes, Tandem is safe. However, you do need to be careful. You do not know who these people are, who you are talking to on this app. You have not met them in real life. So you do need to have a certain level of caution when talking to them. Most of the people who I have spoken to on this app have been genuine. They've been messaging me because they are really passionate about learning English and they want to improve their English and they have been very happy to help me with either my German, my Spanish or my French. However, there have been an odd few people where I've just been like, nope, nope, not not speaking to them anymore. For example, um, there was um, this one guy, I'm not gonna say his name, of course, but there was this one guy who um, messaged me in English, who seemed very genuine at first and wanted to learn his English. But then, after I told him I was from England, he went, oh, I'm looking for an English girlfriend and then just started talking to me about relationship stuff. So I was just like, no, I am not talking to you. Um, and there was another guy who messaged me in English and it said that he spoke Spanish on his profile. So I thought, you know, I could practice my Spanish um, with him. But then he said that he was happy that my native language was English because he had been living in Spain and really wanted to speak English with somebody and I was really pretty and I was like, <laughs> tandem is not tender, goodbye. So yes, you do need to have a certain level of caution when talking to you, but that's just two cases that I've had, two cases where um, guys have been clearly looking for something a bit more and you know there is an option to report people on this app and like i said earlier in um, what features this app has there's an off there's a feature to um leave somebody a reference so when you're looking for people to talk to you could be looking at their references and whether they have good references also there is obviously the chance that whoever you are talking to is actually a catfish um but that's the same with any app which allows you to talk to people which you don't know you know people get catfished by people on twitter facebook instagram tinder you know there are catfishes out there so you just need to be sensible but i have noticed that tandem actually have advice on catfishing and fraud um on their app for example somebody messaged me and they asked me if i had facebook and facebook came up underlined and then when i clicked on it tandem was like this could be a scam do not message somebody who doesn't want to talk to you over video call do not message somebody who asks you for money report it if it's a scam so yeah generally it's safe you know you can um look at their advice on safety on the app and follow that and just you know common sense and just have you know just be sensible when using this app but you shouldn't have many problems if any so yeah question three what are the pros of using this app 
Now there are many pros of using this app. I think the main one probably has to be that it allows you to speak to native speakers um, in the languages which you are trying to learn without even having to leave your home, which obviously is a great one at the moment when we can't travel and go anywhere. And that's actually why I started using this app. Um, I'm currently supposed to be in Leipzig, studying abroad and improving my German, and instead I'm in my parents' house speaking English every day, and I have nobody to practice German, Spanish, or French with. Except now I do because of this app. Another pro to this app is that you can meet people who you wouldn't have met otherwise. For example, everybody who I have been speaking to on this app, I've never met them before. Yes, there obviously is a chance that I may meet them in the future. Maybe if I'm traveling, maybe I'll bump into them, maybe I'll speak to them. Um, but that's a very, very slim chance. So yeah, that's really cool. Another pro to this app is that you get to learn about other cultures, which is great if you're interested in learning about other cultures like myself. Um, I feel like a lot of people who study languages are interested in learning other cultures, and I feel like it's part of learning a language, is learning about the culture as well. And yeah, it's great. I get to learn about other cultures by speaking to people. I actually find um, that one of the great conversation starters on this app is just asking people, you know, where are they from or where do they live? And then I can be like, oh, tell me more about that city. I've never heard of it, you know? It's just really interesting. And they can ask me about where I live. And yeah, there, we've started a conversation already, so. It's good. Another pro to this app is the fact that people can correct you. I love the feature where you can correct messages. I think that's very helpful. Um, it's definitely helped me a lot. Um, it's made me realise um, what elements of grammar I need to revise. Um, for example, I messaged somebody um, in French and I should have used the subjunctive and they corrected me and I'm like, oh, so I need to go revise the subjunctive, which to be honest, I already knew that I needed to revise the subjunctive because the subjunctive is hard. The next pro is that you can gain confidence by using this app. Um, I feel like a lot of being able to speak a language is having confidence. You could know all of the grammar and have a wide range of vocabulary, but if you haven't got the confidence, then you're not going to be able to speak it because, you know, if you haven't got the confidence to go talk to somebody, that's not great, is it? It's all great, well and good being able to write in a language, but one of the main things about having a foreign language as a skill is being able to speak it. And I feel like the more that I speak to somebody in a foreign language, the more confident I get when speaking it and the more confident I get when speaking it, the more likely I am to start a conversation in French, German or Spanish when meeting somebody who is a native speaker of that language as opposed to speaking English and waiting for them. <coughs> That's better. I hope I don't fall off that side. Um, right. That was a very strange noise. I don't know if my microphone picked that up. Um, I hope it didn't because that was quite embarrassing. But yeah, our bodies all make strange noises when we eat and drink things at times or when we digest things. I shouldn't be embarrassed by that, right? <laughs> Question number four. What are the cons of using this app? Now, you may have guessed already that I do like Tandem. Obviously, I spoke quite highly about it when uh, speaking about all of the different pros to using this app. However, um, as with using any app, um, there are cons. Um, and I'm gonna talk about some of them so that you can figure out if this is the right app for you. Um, now, the first con which I am going to mention is obviously not Tandem's fault, um, and that is bad Wi-Fi. Obviously, that's not Tandem's fault, but um, yeah, it 
can obviously affect your ability to learn. If you are trying to have a video call with someone and the network is either bad at your end or bad at their end, then there's going to be some problems. Um, for example, if it's like cutting out because of bad Wi-Fi and, you know, if that person's not even speaking your native language, if it's, you know, your turn to practice and they're speaking in the language you're trying to learn and it keeps cutting out, um, it's quite hard to even guess what they're trying to say and obviously that can be quite frustrating when you're really trying to learn um, but you don't even have a chance to really try and understand what the person is saying because it keeps cutting out and obviously um, it is better to have um, obviously a conversation with someone in real life because of that you know face to face um, but obviously at the moment you cannot do that um, and even you know in times when you can go out and meet people maybe there's no tandems organized in your area um, or maybe you can't find anyone in your area who um, speaks um, that language natively. Now the next con that I'm going to mention which is probably the biggest con for me is the message overload. So the first time I went on this app I started finding people to message and I've never had to go through the page where you search somebody to message since because I just get so many messages coming through and as a people pleaser I don't like this as I don't feel like I can reply to them all and I find it very frustrating when I'm trying to have a conversation with maybe one or two people and more messages keep popping up for more people asking if they can practice their English with me and obviously I want to be like yes but I find it very difficult to keep jumping from conversation to conversation with people um, and it's quite frustrating and I don't know if the app says I'm online when I'm not I feel like it must say I'm online if I'm even just using my phone because I get messages when I'm just using my phone and I'm not on the app and I also get messages when I'm trying to do work um, I get messages at night so I have to put my phone on do not disturb mode because of this app I never used to put my phone on do not disturb mode I just used to put it on silent uh, and it never used to bother me um, but now I have to put it on do not disturb mode because I just find I'm constantly getting messages to come through from this app and um, you know it's great it's great that I don't need to search people to talk to but I find it very overwhelming at times in fact when I first downloaded this app I used it on the first day and I was shocked about how many messages I was getting and then I just didn't use it again afterwards for like at least a week and then again I started using it and then again stopped using it for like a week or two so if you've tried messaging me and I haven't replied I'm sorry it's just because I got a bit overwhelmed by all of the messages uh, and I just wanted to curl up in a ball instead and not talk to anybody <laughs> um, because it was a lot it was a lot it was hard to try and speak to all of these different people at once and I feel like the longer I'm on the app the more messages that come through and yeah even when I'm not using the app I'll be doing work and I'll just be seeing messages come up and um, I don't know it's a lot um, at times having so many messages and um, maybe it's not for you um, but for me I can find it quite overwhelming when I have loads of different messages coming through constantly and I'm trying to concentrate on other things or you know I'm just trying to speak to one or two people I'm not Wonder Woman I can't message everybody at once yeah just when I first started using this app it was a lot for me I think you know I'd been in lockdown for at least two months when I first started using this app and had only really spoken to my friends on the odd occasion I hadn't really spoken to anybody and suddenly I had all of these messages coming through and it was like I've forgotten how to talk to people and I just couldn't deal with it if that makes sense and even now now that I'm using the app every day there's still people that I haven't responded to on there because like I said I'll be messaging people and those and those are messages come through and I'm like right I'll reply to the other people later I just need to focus on these five people right now because it's very overwhelming for me and then I'll just forget and there's people messages who are probably really nice and I've never even opened their messages and they maybe could have really helped me but like I said too overwhelming for my little pea-sized brain. Obviously another con is time differences. Again this is not Tandem's fault but it is just a con. It can be very difficult to maybe find a time to video call your Tandem partner when your Tandem partner is halfway across the world especially if you both work so you're both busy during the day and it might maybe only free in the evenings or early in the mornings and maybe it's quite hard to find a time and again because of the time difference 
um, I feel like that's not great with the regular replying thing because I don't know about everybody but me personally I'm quite bad at replying to messages I'll be replying to someone this app and then something will come up so I'll go do something I'll be like I'm gonna reply later but then that person might not be free anymore because it might be bedtime for them then in their country I don't know um obviously it's not Tam's fault but it's just a con congrats you've made it to the last section of the video or maybe you just skipped to the section without watching any of the others but if you did make it all the way to this section congrats um obviously you really enjoyed this video so you should probably go um give it a big thumbs up um but yeah anyway this section is um what i rate um this app out of 10 and why so i rate this app a big eight out of ten and i even flicked my hair there because it's such a great app um no seriously and um, it is a really good app because like i said earlier it allows me to talk to people um, and it allows you to talk to people who you wouldn't have been able to talk to otherwise um it is particularly good at the moment when we cannot go traveling um you know um often i would go traveling um to countries which speak my target language that's a great way to practice your language uh, skills because pretty much everybody there speaks the language um, and obviously at the moment we cannot do that um, and even if we were able to do that right now this would still be good for post lockdown when we are able to travel because you know not everybody's traveling all the time like travel costs money and people have jobs and school and university and stuff and um, so yeah this app is definitely very good for allowing you to talk to people without having to leave your home and practice your languages and the best way like one of the best ways to learn a language is from having conversations in that language because you're practicing your speaking skills and you're practicing your listening skills it's a win-win um so yeah the only reason that i didn't give this app um a 10 out of 10 is because of the fact that i do find it very very overwhelming at times like i said and that's just a big thing for me again apologies if you have messaged me on this app and i haven't replied was probably just going through a stage of being overwhelming okay that's the end of this video um give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it hit that big um subscribe button down below to see more videos um from me comment if you have tried this app and if you liked it um yeah let me know all oh, the apps free i forgot to mention it is free um but it does have um a paid for feature which i'm not too sure what it allows you to do i use the free feature and i like the free feature and i'll see you all in the next video bye